So what we found is in patients who could be considered candidates for active surveillance, patients with low risk disease or favorable intermediate risk disease, that about a fifth of these patients actually had high decipher scores, which is the genomic test that indicates a greater risk of aggressive disease. So this finding was concerning that some of those men may not be appropriate. On the other hand, there were patients with intermediate risk disease that had low decipher scores and may have less aggressive cancers than what was suspected based on just their clinical risk alone. The impact for patients is that now we have a lot more testing options than we used to. So I think this is really great news for patients that we don't have to just rely on one single biopsy anymore. We have imaging tests, we have genomic tests, and all these other tests can give us more data points. So if you're a prostate cancer patient and really aren't sure what to do, or you have borderline features where it's just not really clear what's the best management option, one of these additional tests is totally available and can be considered to help make a better decision.